We're here in the Summerlin Master Plan community. We're in the Red Point Village. And in particular, we are at Acadia Ridge, which is a Toll Brothers community in the West. It's just off of Far Hills. And what I have right now is I'm looking at some dirt lots over here. And then just to the left is the community pool for this particular community. It is a private community pool. So the HOA cost for this community is going to be $110 a month. $110 a month for Acadia Ridge. And then we have the master plan community of Summerlin, which is $60. So Acadia Ridge is a single story community that offers two story homes. Uh, so you'll have the floor plan as a single story, and then you can opt to bump up the upstairs and get an upstairs on it. So this is the Estella home. This is gonna be modeled as a single story. When we add on the second floor, it's gonna be the Estella Elite. So if you see Elite, that means it has two stories. Lovely courtyard. Now, when you purchase this home, it's not going to have all of this here. You will definitely have enough to walk up the stairs here but if you want to build this out this is what it would look like uh, you can design it how you'd like you just have to get approval by the HOA of course <laughs> and um, otherwise it's dirt so what you see here is not exactly what you get and I'm going to point those things out to you so let's take a look inside like I mentioned this is the Estella this is a, a Spanish elevation and the Estella just as we're looking at it starts at 801,000 so let's take a look over here first here we have a coat closet oh actually no it is not a coat closet it is for little stuff one thing I noticed right away is that they did do this two-tone um, paint and uh, trim work in the home. So that's not typical. Usually you'd have white. So here is a secondary bathroom with a shower and a single sink. You could get the option of a double sink in there, although it would be kind of tight. So here's bedroom one. And let's take a look. We have a closet right here. Like I mentioned, we have this gray trim work, gray baseboards, the molding around the doors. We have the laundry room. As I mentioned, this is a one story, so everything obviously is gonna be on the first floor and it's gonna be so convenient. Here's the bathroom. It's like a powder room. That is a powder room. And then you have another bedroom, bedroom number two with a walk-in closet. Very nice, good size walk-in closet. These are 11 foot ceilings. So it's very, very open. And I love what they did here on the ceiling. This is not the way we come. This is an extra finish decorator item. So you do that after close the escrow. Really like the way they design this. This home has a cozy feel, but not a, not a tight feel, not where it feels uncomfortable cozy. Just has a warm feeling to it. We have a nice little tech, tech stop right here. Let's see if there are any there. And that door is locked. So here we go. It's a pretty amazing television setup there. You have the stack sliders, more windows. I'll show you the kitchen here in a minute. This is the garage right here. And then you have a pantry with the built-in cabinetry. However, that is extra. That is something that you could either do through the builder or after. You can call up California closets or something like that. And then extra cabinetry here. You have a microwave on top and then the lower oven right here. And then your second oven, your double oven is right here with the stove. 
This is KitchenAid appliances. You can choose your appliances. Not all of them are included, so some you might have to pay extra on. Well, you will have to pay extra on. KitchenAid range hood. And then you have the dining area. Dining area here. Get a good look at this kitchen right here. Beautiful pendant lights. I love the scale of those. Nice and large. That would be extra. And then the primary suite, which somebody left the door open. It's rather chilly in here. It's in January and we're at like 35, 40 degrees. So it's pretty chilly here. So double sink in the primary suite bathroom. And then, of course, we have built in closet system, which again, that would be extra. And then this nice super shower. Let's take a peek outside while we're here. So, this is what we call view sensing. Look at that sunset. Look at the sky right now. It's just beautiful. So this is view fencing and Summerlin offers this on some of the, some of the communities offer this in their homes or a block wall. Um, you know, there's pros and cons. You have a park right here. So maybe somebody doesn't want, uh, you know, people being able to look through that. So you could create privacy with extra, extra landscaping right there. Let's go over here. So the square footage of this house, I just realized I didn't mention it to you. It's three bedrooms, two, two and a half baths. It's a two car garage. It's 2011 square feet. So 2011 square feet on this home. Now, if you bump it up and you move it to the Estella Elite, that's going to give you five bedrooms, three and a half baths, and still a two car garage. And it's going to be 2739 square feet. So if you like a Spanish contemporary design, the base price is going to be about, it's going to be $906,000. And that is going to uh, be without upgrades. So you can expect to spend anywhere from 150 to 300,000 in upgrades, honestly. Um, usually it's about 10 to 15% of the purchase of this base price. So if you like this home, then go ahead and let us know and you can subscribe to our channel. Please like the video.